Hi guys, <clears throat> this is just going to be a little bit of, um, not too much of a lecture, as much as I'm going to walk through kind of chapter one and two with you, um, so that you make sure you really kind of know what the format of the test is going to be and what to make sure you are prepared for. Um, in the first two chapters, you have a lot of history. Okay, um, if you start at the very beginning, it's going to talk a lot about um, the actual makeup, um, pharmacology, knowing um, some of the terms like tolerance, withdrawal, things like that. Um, what you guys are going to notice is in your test, the first two questions are both going to be matching. And so it's just going to be making sure you know some of your vocab. Um, keep in mind your choices for your matching. You're always going to have extra choices in there and you're not going to use all of them. Um, like I said before, it might be beneficial to you to um, write down all your definitions as you go through the ones that are in the purple boxes. Write them on a piece of paper, um, screenshot them, print them out, something where you have those in front of you. Otherwise, you're going to have to be... Um, going back and forth between your test browser and your online book browser looking for those um, definitions, which is not impossible that you can totally do that. Um, I'm just thinking of ways that might save you time. So like I said, a lot of computers, you can do a screenshot tool, you can screenshot just the definitions and then like put them on a Word document. Um, you can handwrite the definitions. There's not a ton of them in each chapter. Uh, that would probably save you time too because then a lot of them you might not even need to look up because you, you would have them memorized. Um, so your first couple questions is always going to be vocab. In chapter one particularly you're going to be looking at like I said a lot of the basics you know what is a drug, what's pharmacology, um, what's the difference between tolerance and withdrawal and um, addiction and things like that. Okay um when you're also going to need to know how you classify drugs. So it gives you some different examples. Um, maybe they classify them by origin. So how are they? What do they come from? Um, that's the first one that they mentioned there. But there's about six, uh, six different ways mentioned in your book. So make sure you're familiar with those. Um, some of the other things, I will tell you this too. You should always make sure you're reading the boxes, not just your text. Because a lot of times when I when I give you essay questions, it's going to revolve around some of those concepts and explain this to me, discuss this, compare this, give me examples. Um, and sometimes you'll have to go and do outside research to kind of incorporate with the information you're getting from the book. But if you don't use your book's information, you're not going to get full credit. Everything should be coming from your book first. And then if I say, hey, go ahead and, you know, use some outside statistics or something, that's okay. And then you can cite those. Um, so uh, let's see. They give you some demographics. Make sure you have a good idea of some of the demographics. Like, for example, um, it shows you some different races. And with alcohol, uh, white is the, higher, um, is the higher race for alcohol use. Um, males are a higher rate than females for alcohol use. So you can look in some, at some of that, kind of have a good feeling for some of those statistics. And then a couple pages later, it's not right next to each other. It's um, not too far away, but it does discuss some other countries. And so make sure you can kind of discuss our demographics and our statistics compared to what they have found in some other countries. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, I'm going to ask you definitely about the DSM because the DSM is very important um, in understanding how we diagnose substance use disorders. What are some of the criteria? What criteria do you think? Um, like, why are those criteria important? Why do we have to note that they have to kind of check off those boxes to get diagnosed with a substance use disorder? Um, and that's pretty much chapter one. Um, I might ask you a little bit about how to determine a credible website, and they have some criteria listed for that. So make sure you're kind of aware of some of those characteristics. And then when you get into the second chapter, um, it really gets more into the actual use. 
um, of drugs from the past and then through to you know through today. Um, again, you'll have some of that terminology very first uh, on your test, so you know you know, you'll need to know your definitions. Um, you're also going to have usually after your definitions, you're going to have true and false. Okay, so again, sometimes that's going to relate to terms. Sometimes that's going to relate to something that you've read in the chapter. Um, so keep that in mind. Okay, when when you get to the essays and kind of listing type questions for chapter two, you're going to have to kind of one just overall talk about how drug use has changed. Um, uh, I think I kind of note it as I say, talk about how drug use became a problem in the United States. Like at, at what point did we go from this is okay to this is not okay and kind of how did we address that and just kind of a general overall view. Um, don't get too bogged down in that, but do try to pull out a couple key components of your chapter. Um, like, you know, what things were we using and it didn't seem to be a problem and then what did we start using and maybe at what point did we decide this is an issue? Um, just kind of hit on that a little bit. Okay. I'm also going to ask you to talk a little bit about club drugs and some of the synthetic drugs. And one of the big reasons I'm having you guys talk about those is one, probably some of you guys are going to pick that for your topic, but or pick one of those for your like overall project. But two, just those are the ones we tend to hear the most about. Those are the ones that we're seeing a lot of things in the newspapers about. Um, and so I want to make sure you're kind of really digging in on some of those and seeing some of the things that th that's being written about things like meth and um, LSD, and then on the synthetic side, something like bath salts or um, sometimes the things that we we see in the newspaper, but we don't have a full understanding. Um, let's see. You're going to have to talk about prohibition. Okay. Did it work? Did it not work? Did it kind of work? Um, what are some, if see if you, this is one where, I'm, where I say you can use an outside source. What kind of statistics can you find? Um, what can you tell me basically overall about prohibition? Because that's a big part of our, our country's history. So I want to make sure you kind of have a good understanding of that. Um, let's see. No, kind of the schedule of drugs in regards to, um, you know, which ones do we consider the most likely for abuse? Which ones do we consider the least likely for abuse? Um, and then a big kind of end discussion that you're going to give is talking about the war on drugs. And... Um, you guys, we are, we kind of do a separate assignment on that in a couple weeks. Um, I kind of had to rearrange things because it's such a short, compact semester, if you want to call it that. So I couldn't fit that assignment right in, in this. So we will revisit the war on drugs, but I really want to kind of see what you guys have to say about it right now, especially after you read through your book and see, um, what your thoughts are in regard to what we call the war on drugs. So that really is gonna round out your test. It's only 20 questions. Um, like I said, the first two are gonna be matching. So you'll have kind of some multiple questions and answers within question one and question two. You'll have some true or false. And then it's gonna go into basically like listing type questions or at the very end, you'll have some essay type questions. Um, remember, like I said, do not use the internet unless I say, hey, pull, pull up an outside source if you want. Everything should be coming from your book. So make sure um, and make sure, you know, if you're using your slides or whatever, don't just copy and paste, type it in your own words. I'll give you guys plenty of time. Like I said, it's only 20 questions. And actually question number 20, you'll see, is a potential extra credit question. And that's just if um, if nobody gets 100 and you know you answer that then those will be points that I add on to to the test so really technically it's 19 questions um, so if you guys have any questions don't forget make sure you have that remind app the instructions are in the important information module and um, remind at me uh, before you get in to take the test because don't forget once you start it you can't stop you can't go back um, you'll be able to go back and forth between questions but you'll have that two hour time frame and that's it. Okay. Happy testing.